Colombian and Galatasaray centre-back Davison Sanchez said that he is delighted to be linked with clubs such as Everton um, after being linked with a move to Goodison Park this summer. He said, I've got to return to my club and do pre-season with them, but if something is uh, sorted out between other clubs, then obviously I would have to look at it, but it is an honour to be linked with some of the clubs that I've been linked with and... Again, another centre-back linked with Evan Everton, clearly in the market for a centre-back. He's 28 years of age. He obviously played in the Premier League for Tottenham Hotspur after joining from Ajax. He is mobile. The fee is thought to be around £15 million, uh, which is what Galatasaray won for him. I, I don't know if there's anything real in this, but this story has been bobbing around uh, all summer. And quite clearly, he seems to think there's a, there might be something in it. So... It's a watch this space, really, I think, for this one. But Everton probably are going to... Well, they are going to need another centre-back, if not two. If Michael Keane and Mason Holgate go out the door, I uh, haven't lost Ben Godfrey, of course, to Atalanta. It's, a, it's certainly an area of the pitch where Everton will be stretched. And obviously, James Tarkovsky currently injured. Don't know how serious that is at the moment, but that is a headache for Sean Dyche ahead of the Premier League season. We don't know how serious it is. Tarkovsky could be minor, he could be back next week, but just right now he has got a little bit of an injury um, and Everton's cover is Michael Keane or Mason Holgate, so the Blues are looking. And following on from that report, out of France today, say the Irish centre-back Jake O'Brien is close to leaving Lyon. Uh, they're reporting that a fee has been agreed uh, between a few clubs and Lyon. One of those clubs is Everton. Uh, Wolves, Brentford and Ajax are the other three clubs thought to be interested in taking the Irish defender. He's six foot six. He's played for Ireland on a few occasions. 24 years of age. He's um, he's someone who again has been linked with Evan a few times over the last sort of year or so. Uh, he will be coming in, I imagine, as backup. It'll probably be sold this as he's coming in to replace Jared Brantwaite, which... You know, the stories about him today, of course, in the news as well. But Jake O'Brien is someone I think that the club have looked at a few times and uh, reports in France seem to think that the deal is close to being done now and he'll leave Leon very shortly. Um, Leon's owner, John Texter, the man who was very interested in buying Everton six or seven weeks ago, is uh, has been linked with buying a unnamed Premier League club and buying eighty percent of that Premier League club. The issue with him trying to buy Everton also said was that he owned forty to forty five percent of Crystal Palace, and by the time he'd sold that, he thought Everton would be off the market. Well, Everton are very much still on the market, and he seems to have buyers now for his share in Crystal Palace. The sources coming out of London are suggesting it's Brentford who he is buying. So it looks as though uh, John Texter won't be buying uh, Everton Football Club. There you go. So the, the hunt goes on for Farad Mishiri for new owners. And today Everton have signed 30-year-old England international Melissa Lawley. She left Liverpool last month. She has joined Everton Today, she's had 132 women's Super League appearances to her name. She's played for Arsenal, Bristol City, Birmingham, Manchester City and Liverpool. She said she is delighted to be joining Everton and can't wait to begin her life as a blue. That is it for the news daily. Give the thumbs up uh, to the video. Subscribe if you haven't and we'll see you later.